this activity, we're going to learn how to use inputs to make our robot start a program. We're going to learn how to use jump commands, and we're going to learn how to do pick in places to do a dipping operation. So these are just three dipping tanks made out of PVC pipe caps, and we just laser cut some acrylic and put it in there to make it look like green goo. And what we're going to do in this activity is we're going to pick up the red cylinder and dip it in each of these tanks. In tank one first, then tank two, and then in tank three, and then put it back with a pause for two seconds in each one. There's a couple ways to do this. The way that we've always done it is like a pick and place, where you go to an above pick, and then an at pick, pick it up, and go over to tank, dip it, tank, dip it, tank, dip it, and bring it back. And as you can see, it's a pretty long program. It has more than 16 steps. And in this activity, too, what you're going to learn how to do is the Z heights. If you take a look at the Z heights uh, in this program, all the Z heights have been changed manually. That's called touching up a program. And if you look at the Z heights of the tanks in the above tanks, it's all been changed to 25 and 5 so that they dip it perfectly at the same height every time. And when we run the program, here's what's going to happen. We start the program, and once the program starts, you'll see that it's sitting and waiting at the top for EIO5 input to be 1. And EIO5 is where we just take the VEX switch that's here, and we plug it into input output 5 at the top. So what it's doing now is it's just waiting for the switch so that when we press the switch so very easy but there's an even easier way to do it and we're going to show you a way to do that too Another way to do this dipping operation is with the jump command. If you take a look on the screen, you'll see that instead of above each tank and at each tank, we have just the at tank positions. And these at tank positions, notice too that the motion style in front of it says jump instead of move joint or move linear. So if you put in the jump command there, you can then tell it to, what that does is it tells it to jump in Z, a Z value, from this tank to this tank to this tank. And that setting can be found, if you click on the settings tab, and then go over to the jump parameters tab, your jump height can be set here. So if 20 doesn't work for you, if you want something different than 20, you can change that in the settings. So let's see how this works. If you notice too, this one's only 11 lines long as opposed to like 20 from the other one. So let's run this and see what happens. And notice too, the first line of code says the trigger is going to be EIO5. Press the button and it's going to do the same thing. That's with using the jump command.